Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? We're back with another episode of Franchise Mode. We're getting down here to the dog days of August, okay? Uh, we're starting to kind of, we're 52 and 45. Not horrible. Uh, let's see the standings real quick. I mean, we're in second place. Where's the wild card? We're, oh, wow, we're only a game out of the wild card. Okay. Team still looking pretty good. Uh, but I can't help myself again, and I want to make another trade. Okay. This is probably going to be my last trade of the season. Um, and, you know, I was going to ask you guys what you thought, but I don't have time. Okay. I just, I've got to ask. I've got to do this. I've got to pull the trigger. Wow, a lot of guys are cold down here in the minors. Um, the trade is giving away Joey Gallo, okay? Now, you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy. He's an eight potential. He's 87, right? He's 25 years old. Solid player. Lots of power. Contact, eh, vision, terrible. Um, arbitration eligible. Probably going to make... I don't know how much they... they typically give guys in this game first year arbitration but it's going to be a couple of million dollars at least um what's he hitting this year he's hitting 246 with 20 i mean solid year he's going to hit a lot of homers average isn't going to be great on base percentage is you know okay um but here's what i'm thinking and maybe 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 i'm wrong here i don't know but you know, I was looking through some young second base, or excuse me, young guys that could play first base. Because right now I got Gallo playing first because I've got Meadows in the outfield. I just made that trade. And I'm looking at Rafael Devers. And he's got another year. So next year he'll be basically paid league minimum pretty much. And then he's got three years of arbitration, okay? So next year he's going to be a lot cheaper than Gallo. Now he's only a B potential, which... I don't really understand why he's only a B potential. Um, I'm not sure, okay? He's not super happy over here. Well, he's happy, that I guess, that he he's expects to be a platoon player. Like, what is he thinking? I'm not really sure. But if you look at this, like, he's got unbelievable contact against righties. Um, and his power numbers are pretty good. Power against lefties aren't great, but we're not going to face, you know, we're going to face a lot more right-handed pitchers. And so I'm thinking about making this deal right here. And then any money that I save from Gallo, I'm just going to put that into a free agent pitcher. So basically, I'm going to get Devers. And let's just say Gallo makes, I don't know, three, four, five million dollars next year. You know, I can use that money to sign a fifth starter, maybe another bullpen guy. Um, and so I'm going to do this. But there's more to it, okay? If it was just Gallo for Devers straight up, I, would, I wouldn't do it, okay? But I was messing around with this, and they better let me do this because this is another trade that I made literally before I press play on my camera, uh, on my phone. And so let's see who else we have in this deal. All right, we also get, ooh, we get a couple of young puppies, okay? The first guy that we get is Groom. Now, he's an A potential. He's only 20 years old. He's a 66. I really like that. Okay. I already don't like the fact that they're already saying that they should be getting more. I feel like this trade is going to work again and I'm going to be pissed. Okay. But this guy, $50,000 I under my control for a long time. This guy's going to be a beast. Okay. He's only 26, 6, 220. Absolute thoroughbred. And then the other guy is Cassis. I don't know who he is. But this guy, he's an A potential. He's only 19 years old. So I pick up a couple of A potentials. Now, I do have to give them a couple of guys. So who do I have to give them? I got to give them a couple guys that I don't even know who they are. So let's see real quick. See if I can find them. Hmm, somewhere in here. Okay, this guy right here, he's a C potential, 25 years old, and one more guy, this guy right here. Now, this guy, he's a free agent, so he's gone anyway, okay? 
Not a bad player. 24 years old, 68 is a B potential. Decent, but he's gone. I don't have him anyway. So might as well trade him. Whoops. Okay, so I get two A potentials and I get Devers for basically a guy that I'm going to lose anyway, another guy that's only a C potential and you know he's never going to play on the big league team for me, and then Joey Gallo. I like this. This allows me to restock my system a little bit. Uh, give me some trade chips for next year if I want to wheel and deal some more, which you know I'm going to. And, uh, and I think Devers is going to be, you know, he's a B potential, but he's going to be in the 80s and he's going to be a starter at first base. And maybe, you know, if he doesn't do well, then I'll just get rid of him. All right, let me see what Devers is hitting, actually. He's hitting 311 with 16. I mean, he's hitting better. Look at his on base, almost 400. He's basically better than Gallo is right now. And he's 22 years old. I like this trade. And so we're going to do it. Offer the trade. Beautiful. Okay. Now let's uh, let's go with the lineup here. And we're going to put Devers at first. I think everything else is good. We'll just put Devers right in the three hole. Why not? Devers at first again. Devers at first again. And Devers at first again. Okay. All right. I think we're pretty much good to go now. So what I'd like to do at this point is um, we might just finish out the season here. Let's just start simming some games. They do not have a minimum number of pitchers on their roster. Just auto fix it. Auto fix it. All right, so we lost. Oh, my God, Chase, you've been here for 10 minutes. He's out a few days. Keep him active. We lost again. Miguel Gonzalez, you've been here for only a couple hours. He's out a few days. Keep him active. Put him out there. We won. Oh, did Miguel pitch? Oh, no, Miguel hurt himself in that game. All right, well, we won. We lost. Put him out there. Wow, Chase, 687 ERA. Jeez Louise, what happened The trade here? deadline looms large. Welcome to Inside the Florida. Show. Got Starting a good ERA, out in the but NL West, we lost. Wendy Perot. Yeah, no, he pitched well, it looks like. Bueller will win us this game. No, we lost 5 nothing. It's hard to win when you don't score. Today is the trade deadline. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, man. I don't really have anyone else I can trade. It's, <laughs> it's hard to believe. I've traded deadline. everyone away Starting that I can pretty West. much trade. Um, does anyone want Zimmerman? As they grabbed a victory over the Padres anyone? at Petco Park, 6-5. to five. Bueller? Wow. Racked up 11 hits as a team as they took down the visiting Guys, Diamondbacks. Seven some people want the San Francisco Zimmerman. Giants combined for 10 um, hits as a team. Oh, as they you know what, though? The Phillies in I Citizens can't get Bank prospects Park, for him, right? Two. Cody Bellinger M nabbed four okay. RBIs with three hits as the Dodgers grabbed the win against Colorado. Eight to Only four. the Blue Jays. Among the National League leaders in home runs. Um, the Minnesota Twins picked up wow, 19 hits in this one as they took down the Fish in Miami, a nine to six. C potential. Sean Doolittle grabbed the victory, his fourth of the year, helping the Nats down the Braves. I mean, I guess we have to go with the Cincinnati uh, Reds. Grabbed 13 hits in the game as they sank the visiting I mean, Buccos. 23-year-old B potential. The Not Cubbies terrible. launched three home runs as they cruised to the win over the Cardinals, 10 to two. The Bo Sox had 12 Zero. hits as a team as they destroyed the All right, Rays and then uh, who else? The Mets oh, Brandon. 13 hits as a Does team anyone as want they Brandon? dismantled the White Sox 8-1. Anyone? Eight to one. anyone? The Tribe got 11 hits overall as they Let's got the home victory against the Astros. If we can get prospects seven to six. for Brandon Phillips, oh my God, we can. pitched well, allowing only three hits what? as they dethroned the Royals 7 to nothing. Can we get the any Tigers B put potentials? put together 10 total hits as they pulled off the win against no the Angels in Orange County, 7-5. No the A's knocked okay. out 10 hits as oh, a team as they got guy. the best of the Brewers He's at home, 7-2. to two. 
Matt Whistler got his second W of the season, helping I mean, Seattle really take care of the anyone. Rangers 2-1. to one. And that's the show. The trade deadline is only hours away, so don't forget to What's check the in tomorrow youngest? for a full recap of the day's events. I'm probably just going to go with this guy. 21, see potential. Okay, great. Anyone else I can trade on this team? I, th I think that's probably it, huh? Any relievers? Like oh, this guy. Can you get me any prospects? No. Can you get me anyone? No. Okay. Well, I think that's probably it, guys. Everyone else, you're gonna be on my team. Okay. Terrific. Now, um, oh, they called up a couple guys. What? I didn't tell you to call these guys up. What's going on right now? I never freaking said they called these guys up. Now I'm mad. Okay. What do we need here? What position do we need? We need a second baseman. Yeah, why not? Get in there. Uh, well, let's get you out. I'll put Naylor in. Everything else is good. Need a second baseman. You can go in there. Second baseman again. Sure, why not? And second baseman again. All right. You're out of there. Nailer's in. Okay, I think we're good now, guys. Trade deadline is over. We're in August. Yeah, just auto-fix it. Auto-fix it. Put him on the bench. What kind of message did we receive? David Peralta. Welcome to Inside the Show. It's the wild day that is the trade deadline. Starting out in the NL West, the Baltimore Orioles finished off a two-game sweep as they grabbed a victory over Hold the on, guys. at Petco Park, 6-5. to five. The New York Yankees totaled 11 hits as they made it a laugher against the Diamondbacks, 7 to nothing. Joey Rickard was clutch at the plate with three RBIs. As San Francisco took care of Philadelphia, 4 to 2. His modest hitting streak was also okay. extended to five straight games. I don't know games. what they're trying to tell me. Okay. Cody Bellinger needed only a triple to hit for the cycle as the Dodgers grabbed the win against Colorado, 8 to 4. He leads the entire National Jose League Bray was and runs waved by the in. White Sox. The Twins Yasso Puig was waved wow, by the Indians. 19 hits in this one as they took down the Ooh, Fish Sinus in Miami 9 to 6. Grandal's on waivers. Sean Doolittle earned the win his fourth this season, helping the Nats down the Braves 4 to 3. Joey Votto grabbed Wowzers. three base okay, guys. as Cincinnati got the best of the Pirates 4 to 3. Javier Baez collected a total of four I don't even know how this works. as the Cubs took down the rival how Cards does this work? 10 to 2. He is among the NL leaders in triples. The Red Sox got 12 hits in this one. All right, let's look through this list here for a second. Nothing. All right, good. They're in order the of... The uh... grabbed 13 hits in the game as they beat the White Sox on the south side, 8-1. to one. Yeah, Jose Ramirez kind of drove in three comment. as the Indians took down the Astros, 7-6. to six. The Blue Jays yeah, pitched I don't well, really, I mean, only three hits I don't want as they beat guys. the Royals in Kauffman Stadium, 7 like, to nothing. Solid player, but... Jimer Candelario added three RBIs to I mean, his total. I mean, they're all free agents, the so what's the purpose of the Angels, getting them right now? Five. We're trying to lose. The Oakland Athletics combined for 10 hits as a team as they got the best of the Brewers at home, hmm. 7 to 2. Matt Whistler collected win number two on the year, player. helping Seattle take care of the Rangers in two to one. For one more year. And that's the show. The trade deadline is only what hours to give away, to so don't forget to check in tomorrow for a full recap of the day's events. Nick Ahmed. From Massachusetts, that's what I'm talking about. 
Okay, I mean, it depends what I have to give up to get these guys. Like, would I like this guy on my bench? He can play short, second, and third. That's a nice utility player for me next year. So basically, Max Zunino. So what I'm thinking is this. I mean, let's, yeah, I'd like to claim him. I don't know what that means, but we'll claim him and let's claim him. And this guy's arbitration eligible. He's pretty good. Let's claim him too. I don't know. Sure thing. We'll claim everyone. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but. Just auto fix it. Jeez Louise. All right, we lost. And we won. <sighs> Keep them active. Keep them active. Oh, I won 10 nothing. Put them in there put him in there all right oh i was gonna say we're going on a little run here keep him active one to two months put him on the 60 day what's going on around here Just, just go down here. CJ Abrams. Keep him active. Wowzers, guys. We're going on a run right now. Wow. We're making a run. Wowzer. Okay, we're going into September right now. Let's see. What's going on? It's September 1st. Welcome uh, whatever to the happened show to, uh... as rosters have expanded. Starting out in the NL West, the Giants pitched well, allowing only three hits as they bested the visiting Padres 3-1. to one. Clayton Kershaw collected win number 17 the overall the this season, beating the, the Dodgers over the Diamondbacks 3-2. He is currently in the Both top five guys. in the NL in wins. So nothing John happened. John earned the victory while striking out 11, helping the Rockies nothing get happened. past the Buccos 2-1. No one's a Julio free agent. Tehran got the win on the mound, his 14th this season, okay, as great. the Braves defeated the White Sox 6-3. He is currently in the top five in the NL oh, wins. Where are we? The Nationals pounded out 17 hits in this one as they beat the visiting Marlins 8-7. Let's see what the standings the Phillies look like, guys. hit three long balls as they got the We're best of the visiting back. Mets 4-2. Still the Brewers knocked back, out 12 huh? hits as a team as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley. F Let's go. Loss. Lot. Oh, God. Uh, we finished the season at 35 and 35. No, play. I don't care about the minor league playoffs. All right, let's see here going into the last week of the season. We're 85 and 72. Let's look at the standings. Jeez, the Dodgers went on a run. We're a half a game back right now in the playoffs. I mean, look at this team right here. We're second in speed. We're sixth in contact, fifth in power, third in pitching, and sixth in defense. We're seventh overall. Ah, they're eighth overall. We've put together a squad, guys. Just wait till next year. I'm so excited. All right, let's just sim the rest of the season. Oh, no, we lost a bunch. Oh, God, we choked down the stretch. 
And the regular season has come to an end. It's officially All scoreboard right. watching How much season we... as the regular season comes to a close. Wild Here card. on Inside the Show, the starting the in the National, National League West, huh? the Arizona Diamondbacks totaled 13 hits as a team as they bested okay. the visiting Padres 7-4. to four. Entry... Yeah, it's in the postseason. The Braves defeated the Red Sox. Hi there, everyone. Welcome right, to this special to postseason edition of Inside the Show. For the seventh and final game of the Major League Baseball World Series, Ronald Acuna Jr. launched two home runs and added five RBIs to his total, leading the Braves to victory over the Red Sox, clinching the World Series championship. Do, it has been a storybook season for them, and they will look to repeat as champions next year. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get to the offseason. William Gomez decides to retire. All right, we can do that. The offseason is about to begin. You will have five days to negotiate contracts with any players who do not have contracts for the 2020 season. After this time, those players eligible for agent will be free to negotiate with any other organization. Okay, cool. Let's see uh, how much I've been playing for here, guys. Not bad. Okay. You also have five days to tender qualifying offers. One year, $18.3 million to your qualified free agents in order to receive draft pick comp compensation if they sign on another team. Okay, one year and 18.3. Got it. Oh, man, that's too bad you're retired. I don't know who you are. Pedroia's gone. Hap's gone. Eric Kratz. Oh, man, I played with and against Eric Kratz. CC. Let's see. Ross Detwaller, I play with Ross too. Brandon Phillips, see you later. I'm glad that you guys traded for him, gave me prospects, and then, uh, well, they weren't really prospects, more like suspects, but he retired. Let's see, Albert, see you later. Great career, Albert. Fernando's very old. Sean Rodriguez, played against him a lot. Yeah, I really don't care, okay. Hey, Albert. And Ichiro, both going to the Hall of Fame. Look at Albert's numbers. Amazing. And Ichiro. Yep. Let's get out of here. Okay. Exclusive free agent negotiate. Before free agent begins, you have the opportunity to exclusively negotiate new contracts with veteran players on your team. You have the option of sending a one-year qualifying offer as protection. The one-year qualifier is worth the average salary of the top 125 highest players in the league. Wow. If a player accepts a qualifying offer, you must pay him the average salary next season. If he rejects inside the new team, you receive draft picks. Got it. Um, yeah, I'm not offering this guy. I don't want to do anything. Review staff. All these guys got years left. I mean, we're definitely going to have to get some better coaches in. But I'm not going to fire them just yet. Oh, wait, I need a farm director? Yeah, I need a farm director. Okay, farm director. I like this guy. I'm just going to hire this first guy. Guys, all plus three plate discipline, plus two power. I mean, that all looks good to me, I guess, if that's what you're paying. Oh, Joe Madden wants to do it. It'd be nice if I looked at his name. He's won two pennants, a World Series. Yeah, absolutely. 
There you go. Okay, so I don't want Aaron. Sorry, Aaron. You know what? See you later. Give me some with an A. Like that. Plus two. Bob Melvin, huh? Let's see. Power plate vision, drag bunting, batting in the clutch. Oh, we're back at the top again. Got it. There was a guy here. Yeah, you're fine. Make an offer. Let's go. I still got a lot of years left. Thank you, Joe. Nope. Okay. Can't lose any players in the Rule 5 draft. Beautiful. Now, what are we doing here? Selecting the 40-man roster. How many guys do I have on the 40-man roster? I only have 27 guys. I mean, I'm going to sign a lot of free agents, so... We have a ton of good double A guys. I mean, I don't want to put anyone on the 40 man roster right now. Oh, avoid losing talented players that are eligible for the Rule 5 draft. I can't lose any players, it looks like, so I'm not putting any of them. Offer salary arbitration. Players are arbitration eligible if they have between three and six years of MLB service time or they're in the top 22% of players at least two but less than three years. Got it. If an arbitration eligible player and club cannot agree on a salary figure, both can opt for a neutral party. Got it. Yep, got it. Okay, so Conforto is definitely... So, what does he want? Hmm. Arbitration. So, he wants 3.4 million for one year. His contract years. Yeah, I don't want to sign him to a big deal. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'll give him a year, one year, four million. That's fine. Got it. Okay. What's this guy want for an offer? So this guy. He's a B potential. I like this guy. He wants five years at 10 million. We're looking at. Five years at 10 million. Arbitration is only going to be 580,000. Yeah, just submit that offer. Chase Whitley, what's he want? 
Bye, Chase. I'm not offering you anything. What does this guy want? No. Okay, we got Austin Hedges is arbitration eligible. He wants $2 million. What would he want for a big con? Wow. Yeah, Austin, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm probably going to trade you. I mean, you're good behind the plate, but you can't hit to save your life. We'll just offer you that. Sure. Five hundred eighty thousand. What's his offer? Wow, that's a big offer. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that either. Yeah, we'll just offer you arbitration. Who else? Two more guys. Greg Garcia. Greg, I don't know who you are. See potential. You're thirty years old. I'm not signing you. And Miguel. I'm not signing you. What did this guy want again? Not signing either of you. Best players without contracts? What does that mean? These players are under team control because they don't qualify for arbitration. Yet if these players are not tendered, offered a conversation, they will become free. Oh, this happened to me. I was non-tendered. Huh, I should probably know this. This happened to me in 2010 with the Padres. I got a call. I was eating at La Siesta. And Winthrop, fine, uh, well, I used to really like it. Now I go to Cafe Azteca instead. But um, And uh, my agent called and said, oh, you've been non-tendered by the Padres. I said, what's that mean? He said, it means you're a free agent. So I signed with the Nationals. I could have went back to the Padres as a minor leaguer. They wanted to sign me to a minor league deal, but I didn't. If a contract renewable player decides to decline your offer, you can still renew their contract for no less than 80%. Uh, yes. Hold on a minute here. Hold on a minute. If you have not reached an agreement on a contract, you may renew this contract at any price greater than 80% of a salary from last season. What was his salary last season? He doesn't want to sign a huge deal. I thought it was going to be able to rip him off for a minute. He wants a two year deal for 920000 That might be the greatest deal of all time. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do this, guys. So sorry, guy. So contract one year. Oh, I got it. Ah, because of the arbitration. Got it. It doesn't want to do three years. So I could just do a one year at 1.8 million and then see how he pitches, I guess. I mean, I don't know if this is smart, but um, I have no idea what's going on. Fernando. We 
Yeah, I still I still don't understand this, guys. Why is it saying he's interested in this? Well, maybe one of someone can explain this to me at another time. I have to do this with all of these guys. Yeah, I'm not doing with all these guys. I'm do I'll do it with our top players, but so what's this guy got? Ah, oh, he's arbitration. Oh, I got it. Okay. He's tw oh, this guy. This guy's probably not going to be. He's 29. He's not going to be with us a long time. There you go. Take that. Okay. Devers. Ah, uh, because he's uh, arbitration eligible. This guy's only 25. Barlow. Barlow's okay. I just want two years with Barlow. Castillo, I don't even, ah, uh, Castillo. Oh yeah, Castillo. Austin Meadows. again not really sure how much I'm supposed to offer them if we uh, if I start to try to I guess give them longer term contracts Robert stock I don't really care about Robert like all these guys I want to make sure that they So if I don't offer them, they become free agents. I got to offer all of these guys. It's going to take all day, guys. Like literally all day. All right, let's see if there's anyone I don't want to give offers to. Like, uh, is there a way to sim this? Wowzers, guys. There's a lot of stuff to do right now. And I literally have to get on a plane soon. <laughs> uh, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pause it here. And uh, I'm going to let you guys watch this first. And then let me know exactly if I'm doing anything wrong. Okay? And I'll go back and fix it. 
Let's talk about free agents real quick while we're here. We're not going to do anything. I'm going to save it again. But I'm thinking I'm going to offer Cole. I want Cole. I want Rendon. Oh, my God. Is he going to tell me how much they want? Holy shnikey pants. Let's take a look at this so you guys can see. Wowzers. He wants $31 million a year. All right, so we got to give him $31 million, which I'm going to do. He only wants 24. Oh, he's 29, huh? He had 333 with 31 last year. He's 29. He's a stud. I'm going to pay him. So I'm going to offer, excuse me, him, and then I'm going to move Tatis to second. He was a beast this past year. How much, how much does he want again? He wants 19.2 million. He wants a four-year deal at 33 years old. I might just try to sign him to like a one-year deal. That's what I'm thinking. Will Smith. He's 30. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. But Tansis is 32. He wants 7 million a year. Grindal. He wants 14 million. He's 31. I mean, 14 million. Maybe I make him a one year deal. He only had 232 last year. Yeah, I'm probably not going to do that. It's a lot of money. Um, Strope. Meh. Zach Wheeler. Wheeler wants 12.6. Hit 336. Just okay. So I'm going to need a fifth starter. Cole's going to be my one that pushes everyone else down one, and then I'm going to need a fifth starter. Oh, he's my fifth starter if I if I can get him for a one-year deal. You got Ozuna. I don't – oh, it tells you who what the offers are down there. Oh, sorry, guys. I see those right now. He was offered six years at 156. That's a humongous contract. Ugh. I don't know if I'm willing to do that, guys. He was offered a four-year by the Dodgers. Ugh. It's a five-year. All right, so let's take a peek through here, and then let's figure out exactly how we want to attack this. I'm going to let you guys see all these. Who else we got? Yeah, we're getting to the point here where I'm not going to be signing any of these guys probably that are under... 79, you know, under 80 overall, I'm not going to sign anyone because all the guys I have are better than that already. So Cole and Ryu, that I say it, I say that we sign those two guys, although I don't really want to give a four-year deal to a 33-year-old pitcher. I'm going to offer him a one-year deal with a lot of money. He's probably not going to take it. There's no chance he takes it. Rendon I'll offer and that once I sign Rendon that basically covers all of our position players right Devers at first Tatis at second Machado at short Rendon at third Meadows in left Marte in center and uh who's in right field why am I having a mental block right now Oh, Conforto's in right. I like that. And then we do need some bullpen help. You know, I don't know if Will Smith is the help, or maybe we get Batances. We could make we could make Zach Wheeler our fifth starter. Not bad. I think I might do that. If we lose out here, then we'll go here. All right. Will Harris, what's Will Harris want? 
he doesn't want a whole lot. I'll probably sign Will Harris. He's 35, but he's still... Well... Damn. Oh, he only pitched 12 innings? Did he hurt the whole year? I don't know. He's okay. He's not a stud. He's getting a little older. Anyways, tell me what you guys want me to do. All right? And uh, help me out with the with the tendering contracts. I got to go every, through every single guy. That seems pretty tedious, but I want to make sure I don't lose those guys. So anyways, guys, good first year. Let's get ready for year two. We're going to win this whole thing.